Okay, everybody, you're not going to believe who's with me. Lauren DeMeo, yes. as in Pass the Mayo. Pass the Mayo. <laughs> Terrible dad joke. Sorry, La- guys. Lauren, Lauren is uh, a realtor that hires me all the time for her clients. She refers me to everybody. And most recently, you referred me to you. Yes, I did. I had you inspect a condo that my husband and I are looking at uh, as an investment. Yeah. Yeah. Now, that was great. So how did that experience go? I mean... <laughs> I knew exactly what I was getting into. It was it was fantastic. Um, it's probably a fairly easy inspection. Nothing really scares me. I've seen it all with you. So. Yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah. you know, you being who you are, I mean, you've seen everything already. So telling you that this galvanized pipe inside the plumbing area yeah. is... It's yeah, cool. Yeah. Big whoop. We'll fix little, it. A little rust on there. <laughs> we'll just put some Windex on it yeah. and fix it. Um, so anyway, that's great. So Lauren, tell everybody... Where you're from, what company you're with, and all that. Yeah, so I'm from Los Angeles. I'm with the Alexis McGee Group. I've been with them um, for the past few years. They're amazing. They also service Sacramento. So if you're listening from NorCal, we got you there too. Okay. Um, but yeah, I service mostly Los Angeles, West LA to the Valley. Okay. Um, but I'm originally from Orange County, so I'm also familiar with Orange County as well. The OC. Yes, the OC. So welcome to the podcast studio. How Thank was your you. drive? It was amazing. You were super close to Porto's. <laughs> And um, I think I'm going to have to conclude this day with getting two dozen cheese rolls. Oh, boy. <laughs> I always say nobody needs Portos. Everybody needs Portos. Seriously, everybody needs Portos. I can't believe the lines over there. They're really efficient, though. They're much better than they wow. used to be. I, I just Every time I get to the light, I'm like, holy shit, there's people there again. It's worth it. <laughs> It's totally worth I've it. I've been in there a few times. I don't. I don't. I don't frequent there uh, that much. But anyway, um, it's that's the Burbank thing. So Portos is in Burbank here. Yes. So anyway, um, I want to tell you, I watch a lot of videos. I watch a <laughs> lot of social media videos, YouTube, you name it. I'm always on there because I'm always posting stuff myself, as everybody knows. But uh, you are so natural in oh, front thanks. of the camera. I see a lot of people and they look like they're struggling, like myself. I struggle. No, the you're camera. fine. But uh, you are like a natural. I'm like watching your videos on. That is so good. It's short, but it's bam, right to the point. You just have to commit with just being silly and owning it. Yeah. Right? Like it's okay. It's fine. If I make an ass of myself, it's, you know, only going to be on the internet. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, and it's and it, but it's just so on point. When you do your videos, Thank you. you're just either really good at thinking it through, or you, are you do you think it through a lot, or just like do it. I try not to think too hard. It's you know, I mean, a lot of the videos that I'm doing, I'm like lip syncing to audio that already exists. It's not right. my voice, so it's just kind of you know, it's like doing an impression, right? So it's like if you quote a movie, and it's, it's just like that. So just oh, okay. Try not to overthink it too much. I think I yeah. overthink everything. That's my <laughs> that's my problem. That's your job. <laughs> I, I overthink everything. So one of your latest videos um, was about. Oh, hang on. Before I get into that, mm-hmm. so let's go back to your condo inspection. So yeah. how did that work out for you? Um, did they get the heater to get the, the heaters turned on for you and all that? Yeah. So we're actually still waiting for a response from the seller. Our inspection was what. 10 days ago yeah, at least yeah. yeah um so we're i'm trying to get them to be like hey i know you guys are out of town it's a lot of work right. you guys have a lot on your plate let's negotiate a credit instead and i will handle it for you after the close of escrow and you guys can just like wash your hands clean of it so right that's that's what we're leaning towards i just need them to kind of like sign on the line if that's what they're comfortable with oh got it yeah, yeah. that was it's funny because a few days later mm-hmm. i ran into the same situation really but it was a little different. Okay. This house had this house had um, three systems in it. It was a very big house. It was like 6,000 square feet. Okay. Had three different systems, and all the systems were ancient. They were all like 23 years old or older. Okay. Um, and two of them were shut down, and two of them had red tags on them. So I look at the owner who didn't, his English wasn't good, so he had somebody there to help mm-hmm. him out. Mm-hmm. Um, and uh, I said, what's going on? He'd ask him why this is shut down. Is there a known gas leak? Is that why there's a red tag on here? Is don't ever mess with red tag gas stuff, right. people. Anybody watching this, don't ever mess. Don't, don't think, oh, you know what? I'll just turn it on and check it out. No. You could have a very loud boom boom for a day. <laughs> uh, you don't want that. Yeah. So uh, this guy was like, oh, no, it works. It works. Then why is the valve off at the f- each fur- uh, two of the furnaces? Two of them were shut down. When mm-hmm. I say shut down, I mean the valve at the furnace connection was off. Mm-hmm. That means somebody was either working on it or know there's a leak. Otherwise, it'll be on. Mm-hmm. There's no there's no other reason for that to be off. Right. So this guy's like, oh, no, no, it works good. And I'm looking at the buyer, and they're looking at each other. 
<laughs> yeah. And the realtor on the buyer side, she spoke the same language as Armenian uh, to the seller. And she's like, John, don't worry. He's not even making sense to me. <laughs> I was laughing yeah. my ass off. I was like, okay, 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 I'm, okay I'm not crazy. But no. tell this guy that an HVAC company needs to come here and test this because this is a very old unit. Two yeah. of them are very old. So that, just a coincidence. Yeah. Not too, not, like a few days later, it, that happened. Yeah. You know? Yeah. The gas company doesn't red tag things for fun. No. <laughs> it means there's an issue. Right, right. Yeah. So don't mess around with that gas stuff. Mm -hmm. So anyway, uh, one of your videos I saw... Um, which really inspired me to call you again. Because I know I've been bugging you about I this know, last year to I come know. on the show. But I know you've been busy. I made it. I made it. You recently had a baby. Yes, I have a toddler. Well, he's going to be two now. So well, it's congratulations. a bit of it. But it's a yep, lot of work. It's a lot of work. So um, he's two already? He's going to be two in April, yeah. Wow. That was fast. Yeah. Um, and so on the latest video I saw from you was house hunting without pre-approval. Mm -hmm. You're going to want one of these. What does it help with? everything and i was like wow that's a good topic yeah so let's get started with that tell me tell us about that yeah i mean so i like to consider the pre-approval like your golden ticket to willy wonka's chocolate factory right like that sure. that is your entry point i'm all about being super informed when starting your house search and your pre-approval is what's going to inform you on how much you can afford that means you've had a conversation with a lender and you know what your monthly payment is going to be like nothing feels worse than looking at a house falling in love with it and then being like, I can't even afford it. That sucks, right? right? And then if you're gonna make an offer without your pre-approval, if the listing agent and the seller are paying attention and they notice that, they're not gonna take you as a serious buyer Correct. because you came in unprepared and you have one shot to make a really good first impression, right? Yep. Especially if you look back you know, in 2020, 2021, when the market was absolutely insane, Right. It was like, don't even submit. Like there's there's 15 people submitting and they're all pre-approved. They all have their proof of funds ready to go. If you came in unprepared, you were not competitive, period. Right. They're not period. even going to look at you. They're not even going to look at you. And then if you come back and you're like, oh, I fixed it, it might be too late, right? They might've accepted another offer. Right. Sellers are not compelled to take their house off the market on a chance of someone who can't prove that they can actually afford the house. Right. You're just wasting people's You're time. wasting people's time. You're wasting your own time. Yes. Really. And your time. Right. Eh, I mean, this is what I do for a living, right? It's yeah. it's my job, right? But part yeah. of my job is educating my clients. Otherwise, you're you're driving yeah. around aimlessly. You don't know what your budget is. Okay, let me pause you yeah, right there. Yeah, sure. Okay, other realtors listening, listen to her. She's educating her buyers. Yes. Educating that's something that needs to be pushed a lot harder with a lot of other realtors. They don't tell them anything. Yeah. When they show up for the inspections, they're lo they're like blind. I'm yeah. like, you weren't told anything? Well, she, if she's scheduling me for you, she's got to give you some kind of a input on yeah. what to expect when I show up. I'm, I'm thinking that you do that? Absolutely. Okay, give me an idea of what you tell your customers. Yeah. yeah, so, I mean, when I first meet them, I give them, like, the heads up, like, just in regards to, hey, here are some, like, out-of-pocket costs you're going to have, right? Because a lot of buyers don't even know. They're like, oh, I have to pay oh, for wow. an inspection, like, with my credit card. I have to pay for my appraisal with my credit card. That's not just out of escrow. And it's like, yeah, like, some things are going to be paid at closing, but some you have to pay up front. And here's roughly how much that cost is going to be. Put that money aside so you're not shocked. Right. 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 Um, and also it's like if I'm not educating or empowering my clients to make decisions that feel good for them, I mean, how does that feel? You're making the biggest purchase of your entire life, maybe, especially if you're a first time home buyer and you're like, I guess I'm just going to trust this person. <laughs> no, feel good about it. Right. right like right. you should feel good about what you're doing. And if you're like, hey, this doesn't feel good. You're like, well, now I know that I made the right decision for me and didn't do it just because my agent told me to or not to. Right. Right. Like right. at the end of the day, I'm not buying the house. I don't, I don't have a position in the equity of the house. Well, I am not attached to the result of a certain transaction. It's making sure my client gets what they want and need. Right. 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 So that is directly tied to them feeling good about what they're doing and making the right choices. Right. And they're not calling me in a year and being like, we royally fucked up and it's your fault because you didn't, tell me right i am not the keeper of all of the knowledge that's super selfish right. and like a really weird power trip thing to be like <laughs> i hold all the knowledge and i'm gonna pretend like it's a big secret no it's not a secret 
You know what I mean? Here, this is how it works. Like I will be super transparent and lay it out. Yeah, you're being transparent. There's yeah. the word right there. That's that's good. Yeah, that's good. I Absolutely. try to be. When people call me, they're like, "Oh, you gonna inspect my chimney?" No, mm-hmm. I'm not gonna touch your chimney. Oh, okay. Um, are you gonna do my lawn sprinklers? No, I'm not gonna mm-hmm. do those either. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna inspect your house. Yep. Not every house has a fireplace. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So I'm like, well, I draw the line somewhere. And yeah. it's, it's just my company policy with fireplaces because, because I, I believe personally that I'm wasting your time and your client's time. If I tell you, I'm going to inspect your fireplace. I just, I'm just wasting your time. I don't have the tools. I don't have the training to mm-hmm. look up inside that flu and let you know what's going on. In yeah. there. And yeah. that's where the problems are. Yeah. So that's why I don't do chimneys yeah. in case you ever wondered. That's, yeah. I that's mean, exactly what also I mean. it's like you get a specialist, right? Mm-hmm. I tell my clients that when they bring you, I'm like, he is a generalist. He is going to tell you like at a high level what you should be concerned about. What's like a really quick, easy Home Depot DIY fix Mm -hmm. and like what's not a big deal, period. And if something big comes up like, hey, mold. okay, let's like bring in a company that does that. Mm -hmm. Oh, something's up with your panel. Let's bring an electrician to do that. Right. Like part of our jobs, like, yeah, people expect us to kind of do a lot more than what we're responsible for. And I'm very, I try to be, I want to stay in my lane. It's like, right? I'm not going to pretend I'm the lender. That's I'm why not we get gonna, along so good. Right? But that doesn't mean, that's not going <laughs> to yeah. mean that I'm going to be like, it's not my problem. I'm not going to help you. Right. It's let me point you in the right direction. So you get the right. person who, this is literally what they do all day. And I would be doing you a disservice if I pretended that I was an electrician. Exactly. Same here. You know, I, I have, I do know quite a bit about elect- electrical, uh, plumbing, the, all the five major systems. But there, when I have to draw the line and say, you know what, my line stops here. Now you bring in an electrician over here. So mm-hmm. that's all I'm doing. I'm just pushing you in the right direction. Yep. You don't have to do anything with my report. Yeah, people need to understand that too. I can talk all day. I can tell them whatever they want to hear. I can give them a, a comprehensive sixty-page report. You don't have to do anything with it. Mm-hmm. A lot of people don't. <laughs> They should. They just toss Please it. Please read it. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so when when there's when people try to file claims against other inspectors and stuff like that, mm-hmm. the the uh, insurance companies refer to it as the unread report, and that's exactly why because they mm-hmm. just disregard it. Yeah. Oh, but I'll, do, uh, uh, I'll just make him pay for it, Len. No, you won't. Yeah. <laughs> and they have an opportunity to ask you questions. That's yeah. another reason why, yeah. like, I like working with you so much is you do a post mortem. After your inspection. Post-mortem. Yes. I like that. I know my, my past life as a producer is coming in, you guys. Sorry, I'm going to use all these weird corporate buzzwords. Um, yeah, like you take the time to, to have a conversation with yeah. them and open it up for discussion and questions. Yes. Like right there on the fly. And you can point it out and be like, this is why it's like this. Yeah. These are your action items. Oops, sorry. These are yeah. your action items yeah. if this is something that you want to take care of. And I think that is mm-hmm. super, super valuable. Otherwise, it's just a PDF. And like you said, they're not going to read it. It's... a if you know. don't know what you're looking for, it can be a very intimidating document, right? Yeah. It's long. Especially your first thorough. time looking at one. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. My own report has a lot of just basic information yeah. about the house too, which kind of, whoa, why is it so long? Well, it's because, you know, you had a big house. Yeah. yeah. A lot of it's all good. There. Yeah, it's all good. Just yeah. keep this as a little, uh, you know, go-to sheet. Right. Oh, what kind of filter do I have? Oh, let me look on John's report. People don't think of that. Yeah. Just save it in the archives. Don't forget to download it. Yeah. <laughs> Save it on your hard drive or whatever yeah. you got, your cloud, whatever you want, and just refer to it. Mm-hmm. What was my water pressure when John was here like mm-hmm. two years ago? Mm-hmm. Oh, it was like 74. Okay, what is it now? It's 200. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Not good. Okay, yeah. so get that regulator changed. But anyway, that's a, that's a good way. Of, it's a good way of doing it. So just staying in your lane is what you're telling people, and that's what I tell people all the time. I always stay in my lane. I always get, I do get pushback quite a bit from mm-hmm. different realtors, mm-hmm. and I just push right back. Yeah. They push me and I push them. Nope, that's yep. not what I do. Mm-hmm. And I'm sorry that you were misled to think that, but that's not what I do. Yeah. You didn't get that from me. Yeah. And if you read anything I me emailed you, you'd know that. Yes. Your emails are very, very clear. <laughs> and they and they look at me. Sometimes a customer will comment on that. Like, you know what? I did read that. You're right. It was in there. I forgot. Sorry. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and then other ones are like, no, of course I didn't read it. <laughs> yeah. At least they're honest. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, oh, well. So, um, well, that was cool. So do you want to add more to your um, uh, without pre-approval? Oh. Um, was there something else you wanted to add? Just Because I cut you off. Oh, yeah. No, it's fine. Um, I'm trying to think like where I was. I mean, honestly, like if, if that is step number one is probably 
the most we, in, you left, important You left thing. off, I'll tell you where you left off. You, I know exactly where you left off. Yeah. You left off where you, when you mentioned um, you were uh, guiding your client. Oh, yeah. You just, yeah. you need to know like where you're looking. Otherwise, yeah. it's like you're looking blind and you're, you can't right. do anything. You can't do anything with that, right? And it's going right. to, you're going to get frustrated. You're right. going to be disappointed when no one accepts your offer or you're going to waste time and you're going to lose the house that you really wanted. Yeah. All of those feelings really, really suck. Yeah. And I want to prevent my clients from having to experience that. It's an unnecessary stress. Real estate is stressful enough. Right. Let's just eliminate that. Go in prepared. Proactive. Be Yes, be proactive, yeah. be educated, and like, you know, feel good about what you're doing. Yeah. And yeah. stay in the neighborhood you can afford. Yeah. 